The Manitoba Bisons men's hockey team just keeps on rolling and Mike Sarant is the, the head coach of those uh, Manitoba Bisons and Mike another big weekend this week against a team in Regina that has the exact same record as you guys so talk about yeah. evenly matched. Yeah uh, you know Regina had a really good start to the season uh, they're much improved from last year and um, they've had some great results and, and every game they're in even the games they've lost they've been very competitive so it's going to be a, a they're going to be a real tough opponent this weekend but you know it's a huge weekend for both teams. Um, you know, we're looking at uh, getting close to the first half of the uh, the schedule, and everybody wants to go into the Christmas break on a high and in a good, solid position in the standings. So these are these are very important games for both clubs. And those games a little bit different this weekend. Friday they play at seven. That's no change whatsoever. But Saturday it's a little bit earlier, two o'clock, correct? It's two thirty. Yes. Yeah. So we'll get there at two. Get some snacks. You know, get your seat. That's 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 what I would recommend. Uh, looking at the goaltending stats, uh, Jesse Deckard's obviously your number one guy. But over in Regina, they they kind of split it up the middle. Does that kind of change your your preparation that you might be seeing two different goaltenders on the weekend? Well, you know, it, it doesn't really. Uh, you know, we're not going to change our game for for those goaltenders. If there's some tendencies or some things that we think we can see advantage or take advantage of from watching the game tape or during the game make an adjustment, we'll look at doing it. But uh, uh, both are, their goaltenders have played very well. And you're right, they they're, they split it right down the middle. They both played six games, uh, Hayes and, and Gore. Right. Um, and, and those guys are one of the reasons why Regina's had a good start to the season. They've been providing excellent goaltending for, for Regina. Um, you know, we're not going to change in terms of our, our, our mindset and how we approach our offensive game. We're a team that likes to get a lot of pucks to the net, take lots of shots, and, and, and if you use the terminology funneling, we like mm -hmm. to, to funnel pucks and, uh, to the net and get people in front. Um, so we'll, we'll continue to emphasize that. Uh, we were a little snake bitten last weekend in UBC. We played very well, generated a lot of really good scoring chances, but, but couldn't get the, the, the payoff and mm -hmm. lost a 2 1 overtime game to UBC. But, you know, we played really well. So if we continue to generate those chances um, <clears throat> this weekend through our, our team play systems and game plan, you know, we're, we're expecting that those goals will start going in for us. Last season when it came to your team's final stats, uh, individually going down the, down the line for, for players, there were a few guys that were kind of up and, a, up and ahead of the, the rest of the team, thinking the, the Blair McCauley's of the world. Right. And then uh, Jeremy Shepard, of course, was, was up in the, in the defensive stats. Uh, this year, it seems to be more, uh, more scoring by committee, at least in the early going. And Regina seems to be very similar to that. But uh, Dane Crowley talking at the, at the press conference today talked about your, your checking line. Does that team, is that line going to be even more important on a weekend where a team like Regina, they, they have a, a number of lines that can put the buck in the net and they do rely on that kind of spread out offense. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, that's what I like about our team is that we've got uh, good balance on the forward line. We have four lines that all can contribute uh, to our success by performing different roles. And we've got uh, you know, good size, good strength up front, plus we've got speed and skill. Um, but we feel that uh, the fourth line that, that Dane referred to, or we call them like an energy line, uh, they bring a lot to the game. Um, you know, right now it's uh, Austin Lauder and Paul Sorelli and, and Dylan Kelly played very well together as a unit uh, over the last uh, weekend and you know, brought a lot of energy. They, they forecheck hard, they get pucks in deep, they, they finish their checks and create a lot of turnovers that way. And, and they're big bodied guys, so when they get the puck in the offensive zone, uh, they're tough to handle when they when they get that puck in that net area. So uh, they've been doing a real good job for us. And um, you know the other three lines, uh, they're they're playing well. We we need more offensive production in terms of, of getting the payoff of actually finishing those those chances. And and that'll come. That'll come. We're a little snake bitten right now, but that'll come. So if you want to see the Manitoba Bisons get unsnake bitten and get that payoff that Mike Saran's talking about. 7 o'clock on Friday, 2.30 on Saturday. They play Regina, both teams with a 6-4-2 and two record. But if you want to check out the rest of the Bison schedule, gobisons.ca is the place to go for that. For Shaw TV, I'm Mitchell Clinton.